.co.com.org.net. Does any of this sound familiar to you? Well, in this lesson, we are going to be looking at top level domain. But before we dive into it, let's go on a very short break. Welcome back. My name is Noah Latoyi and welcome to 5 Minutes of Design and Code. 5 Minutes of Design and Code is where we design and code for 5 minutes almost every week. So we just show you how you can improve in your technology space and you know get things along and be happy. So let's dive into what we have today. I know that you've came across .com, .ng, .co .za, .gov .ng so many of them but let's understand how it works you see understanding how it works is going to affect and also help you in even making decision or having conversation with people who have this understanding so i would just advise you to watch me while i explain to you how this works so moving into it quickly talking about domain we have two categories of domain right and before I even talk about the two categories, let's understand what top level domain is. You see, top level domain is the suffix after every domain name. So take for instance, Instinct Hub, for instance, it is a domain name. Then you have .com. So the .com is what we refer as the top level domain. Why do we call it top level domain? Now, taking a look at it from the perspective of a user, we can just see it as just a normal three letter or four letter, however it is, and we get going. The truth is, they stand for something. Now, let's take a look at the category of top level domain. Now, we have generic top level domain, and we have specific, country specific top level domain. Let's understand how these things work. Talking about the generic top level domain, we have the .net, we have .org, we have .com. You've came across these things before, and we're going to understand why they are generic in a very short while. But let us take a look at an example of the country-specific top-level domain. Country-specific top-level domain are domains like .gov, .ng, .za, .uk. Now, for, for instance, .ng means .nigeria for just a short. Then .uk means United Kingdom. So it all depends on the location that you find your business, which will make this thing suitable for you. And another way to look at it, when you're talking about top level domain, you have to be very, very sensitive when it comes to this. The reason is because when you want to acquire a top level domain, you need to ask yourself, where do my business parties or my consumers where do they reside because that's the only way you can really optimize your site so that when they search they can see you easily and let me tell you what that means you see the way the search engine work when you try to search for anything take for instance i want to buy banana or a place to buy banana in nigeria the search engine of course knows that you're searching from nigeria so what the search engine is going to do is to try to understand if there are .ng domains that carry this information because clearly it states that .ng so the top domain can or the search engine can understand where the content is coming from so that's one advantage so imagine you having a business in Nigeria that your target audience are in Nigeria you're not going to buy .uk that's not going to do you any good because nobody's going to be searching for your item from the UK. Now, talking about that, that doesn't mean you can't have multiple domains. It's all still boils down to where your business resides and how you want people to reach you. Another thing I want to bring to your attention is that there are some domains that you cannot obtain as an individual. There are domains that are restricted and it's just based on government usage alone. Take for instance, you cannot buy .gov.ng because .gov basically stands for government. So you will likely to see those kind of domain with the government officials or government parastatas 
running those kind of domain. In fact, if you need that kind of domain as a person, you need to write to the Antonio of the Federation in order to get that domain. So that's a lot, you know, a lot of work that you need to do to do that. So meanwhile, just think about the business you want to have, then think about the domain that is suitable. Think about where your target audience are, if you can get the local NG or the um, domain level that also pertain the country, that works better. But the bottom line is get a domain, make sure that people can memorize it and also work on the SEO search engine optimization to get people to find your content. And that's how we wrap it up on this one. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media handles so that you can be notified each time we release a new tip. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.